Just about everybody knows how to spot a Volkswagen Beetle, thanks to a little game called Slug Bug Black. This is the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle. The Beetle had a very rounded design. They still have that, but now they've gone a little retro with the styling. It's sleeker and a little more stretched out. The 2015 Beetle is powered by a 1.8 liter, 16 valve turbocharged four cylinder engine with direct injection, meaning it has about average power. Trunk space is about what you'd expect for a Beetle. Let's just say you're not gonna be using this car for any of your construction business needs. The back seats do fold down, however, which gives you a little bit extra space. On the interior, the steering wheel has a very nice leather feel to it, and there's a large opening making all the driver's dials very accessible. For my taste, there's a few too many buttons on the steering wheel, but that's just a minor gripe. As you can see, Volkswagen's gone with a very simplistic layout for the dashboard, which I appreciate. Everything is very manageable and easy to use. The last thing you want in a car like this is to feel like you're in the cockpit of a fighter jet. Now that we've seen some of the interior, let's take it out on the road and see how it drives. Let's see how the turbo reacts when we start from a standstill. For the amount of power that the Volkswagen Beetle has, it actually has surprisingly decent acceleration. As far as fuel economy goes, the Beetle gets 24 city, 32 highway for an average of 27. And the EPA has also given it a seven out of 10 rating in fuel economy and greenhouse gas emissions, meaning it's a little bit above average in those categories. Adding to the comfort and luxury of the cabin are heated front seats and an eight speaker sound system that actually sounds pretty good. It's a good thing that this sound system sounds so crisp and clear, because when you're in a convertible, you definitely need something so the music doesn't get drowned out by the sound of the wind and the traffic. As you might expect for a car this size, the turning radius is very good, making navigating U-turns, parking lots, or parking garages very simple. Visibility is pretty good. I mean, it is a convertible after all, but the rear view mirror is pretty tiny and could be a little bit bigger. There's a limited amount of leg room for the rear seats, but as far as the front seats go, it's pretty comfortable. The driver's dashboard gives you plenty of information that you can scroll through. Things like oil temperature, coolant temperature, travel time, and fuel consumption. Let's say you're driving along and the sun starts to get to be a little too hot or it starts raining and you need to close the roof. All you have to do is reach up here and hold this button down and the roof will start to close. Hold it down until you hear the beep and then you're good to go. Let's not sugarcoat things here. The Volkswagen Beetle has garnered a reputation as being a bit of a girl's car. And while you're still probably not going to find anyone with the last name of McLean or Rambo behind the wheel, the new styling and the turbocharged engine have definitely butched things up a little bit. Not to mention, it's one of the cheaper convertibles you can buy. 